presented by that time I got reincarnated in the same world as an anime podcaster, this is Shonen Jumping the Gun! The show where we set our sights on the first chapter of a manga and decide if it's a misfire or a bullseye. Let's see how many rounds are in this magazine. On today's episode, 300 sports manga enter, only one leaves. It's Blue Lock. Welcome, everybody. I am your superstar soccer player, or football to our Europeans, Kermit the Grog, here with my super egoist, Isekai Sensei Sama Brad. Brad, how you doing? There are so many bad manga, and I will mold them into <laughs> top series. That's perfect. That's perfect. And I will do this by killing the authors of all the other ones. <laughs> it's just art. Could they just not? I'm killing them. They're going to die. I'm going to traumatize 299 people to make one good. Hi, my feelings are already coming out about this series. We're covering Blue Lock. I believe this is our most recent manga we're covering in sports arc. Yeah, I mean it's still coming out, so. Correct. And yeah, it is. Well, that's not saying much because the other two we've done so far are really old. Well, yes. What? Uh, almost all of them are at least a decade old. But yeah, this is the only one that is still running of everything that we will be covering. Yeah. So. And 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 an anime. Yes, which Crunchyroll attempted to advertise to us directly before we recorded this. Uh, Blue Lock started in August of 2018 and is still running around 270 chapters at this point. It's an artist writer team up, but neither of them had Wikipedia pages that had anything I recognized, so I didn't write it down. And with that, we are at my patented Kermit's speedrun summary. We are told in the world of soccer, you can train a first class goalie, defender, or midfielder, but strikers can't be taught. They appear wherever the game is hottest. This message appears over a splash page of boys. There's a lot of boys in this manga. In the 2018 World Cup, Japan lost in the round of 16. We're at the boardroom of the Japan Football Union and new hire, Anri... Te 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 <sighs> what do I do with that? That's T-E-I-E-R-I. Tere? Tere? Tesue? Henry Tere talks about devising. There's no way that's it. Talks about devising a new plan to be stronger for next year. The chairman laughs this off. Who cares? Who cares? Soccer is just a business. Whether they do well or not, the brand still makes money. They laugh Henry off, but she is unaffected. If they do nothing, they will never win. But she believes they can. You bloated rodent, because that's her dream. She says Japan's passing style has done well, but they need something more. The coach that can do it is Jinpachi Ego. Also, this time, the men are ogling her, and I guess it's supposed to make them look like pigs, but I still hate it. Now we're at the Saitama Prefectural Finals. It's 0-1. Is we that what that was? What? I didn't I didn't pick up on that. What? That they were ogling? Yeah. I swear there's a bit where they're ogling. Now we're at Saitama Prefectural Finals. It's 0-1. We meet striker lead Yochi Isagi. We gotta win and get to nationals, he thinks as he drives to the goal. Either shoot now or pass to his teammate. He thinks. He passes. Soccer is a team sport, right? His teammate shoots and misses. The opposing team takes the ball, a Risoku Kira, and scores. 0-2, to two, they lose. Yoichi's team is saddened as we see that Ryusuke... Ryos... Ryosuke? <laughs> this will kill me. Yochi's team is saddened as we see the Ryosuke doing an interview. He's here because he has his team behind him. Yoichi failure spirals. It's over for him and the team for soccer. He'll never be like the French superstar Noel Noah that he grew up idolizing and win the World Cup. Yoichi's dream is over. If only he had taken that shot and not passed it. He finally gets home and there's a letter. Yoichi's been selected for a special player training program. Cut to then, and he's at the Japan Football Union where he sees Ryusuke from earlier as he's headed in. Nice, a familiar face. And he remembers Yoichi. He thinks Yoichi and him would be great teammates. They get inside and it's jam-packed. 
300 of the best strikers under 18 from around Japan. The lights go down, and a man steps on stage and calls them unpolished lumps of talent. He is Jinpachi Ego. He continues, To be the best, Japan needs the birth of a revolutionary striker, and you 300 are the test subjects for this at my new facility, Blue Lock. Why blue? Because Ow is blue, and that is somehow means young, and that's why we have a bunch of blue manga. Starting today, they will all live together there doing the special training Ego has put together. Whoever is the last remaining player will be the world's best striker. He finishes. Everyone is confused. Ryosuke calls him out. They all have teammates relying on them. They can't just leave. The crowd starts to turn. Ego says, then fuck off. You can leave if you want, but you're missing out and will always be second rate. That was in the printed manga. I was beside myself that there was an F drop in a printed manga. <laughs> ostensibly for teenagers in a, in a scenario that I don't think it was needed, but it was shocking. This is a game about scoring points, not getting along. Yosuke continues to argue back, but Ego is having none of it. No one from Japan has ever won the World Cup. That means they're trash. He goes on to name a bunch of World Cup winners and how selfish they all were. Awful, but they were all number one. You got to be an egoist to be number one. He continues to make that point with many examples. I don't think are worth describing. You get the point. Our lead Yoichi is clearly won over by this. He's in. We learn that all 300 went in after the speech. Anaya is trusting Ego to make it happen. It might mean ruining 299 lives, but one great striker will be born. I feel like the creators of Ted Lasso read this and were like, nah, uh <laughs> not having this. Oh, they didn't like how mean it was. <laughs> I don't like this one. <laughs> no, no. So it's it's. I can see why it's big. It's sportsy. It's soccer, which is popular everywhere but America, for the most part. It's got boys. If you like boys, I don't think the boys are as boys as high Q. I don't think. But also, what an I'm American premise of you have to be the best, singular. Yes, true, very much so. But but also like. And I, I I read ahead a little bit because I had the volume and it was from the library and I had to take it back then. <clears> so I'm going to read it. It's and also just hearing people talk about it that it's it's sports meets death game. Yeah. And I think that could be interesting, but just the fact that it takes place on our Earth is what instantly makes me go, "What are you doing?" These are children. Yeah. You don't need to traumatize children to make a, a, a person who kicks a ball real good. And maybe that's my... This is funny. This is where my actual disrespect of sports come in. Like, the world is not made a better place because you ruined 299 lives to make one good ball kicker. And, and like, this is, this is a conversation we've been having, like, recently. This is, like, the, the whiplash thing. You know, the, the movie... Uh, with the drum thing, where it's is it, like... Is Whiplash? Oh, yeah, the drum thing. Sorry. I was yeah. thinking of the uh, roller derby movie. J.K. Simmons. Yes, yes, yes. You've talked um, about it a lot. What they're doing is they're going, in order to make the very best, you have to like be super strict and abusive and everything. And that is a premise that I straight up reject. I hate that. And I think... There is the slightest sliver of room for that to exist. I think there are probably people out there who would benefit from that level of intensity and get better from that. But overall, it's completely unnecessary and it does more harm than good. And even when you get an excellent player out of it, my hypothesis is they could be excellent without the abuse and all you've done is made them excellent but also with psychological trauma. Yeah, you've created one amazing striker and 300 broken people. But even even just like just ign the ignoring the 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 300 of them. Just take it down to one singular person. Okay. And and abusing them to make them better. It's it's just not it's it's awful. It's an awful premise and when I read this chapter, I went, I don't think that what the overall message of this series is going for is that what they're doing here is bad. I think this is literally just entertainment. 
for us readers. That was that was why I was like I like went to the the cabal and I said, "What's the deal with this? I can't read the vibe because it really feels like they're acting like, yeah, he's a lot, ego's a lot, but he's right though." Right, and, and, and I just so can't. I was just like, "No, nope." And I like read the synopsis, and it's like they play a game, they play another game, they play another game, they play another game, they play this game, they play that game, and I'm just like, I'm not getting a vibe from this. I can see how it would be compelling as a story. I think the art and composition were done well. Um, yeah, that's fine. Character designs are clear. Yeah. And so, like, from an entertainment perspective, I can understand why someone would like this. But to me, the underlying morals of what's going on is just too strong for me to enjoy anything about it. And I just did not have a good time with it. Do you want to see me make this, I think, at least more interesting to my brain, and you can tell me if it's to your brain or not? Okay, so clap. Um, instead of what it was, but keeping some of the ideas, you start, they're already mysteriously in the facility, and they're made to do these things, and it's a mystery about why they are there, and that you learn later that this is the Japanese government attempting to make, like, sports super soldiers. Not soldiers, but, like, literally, like, master sports players in a very, like, Danganronpa kind of way of, like, we've taken the top from all these schools, but also, like, we wiped your memories for some, like, like escape, escape game bullshit, but, like, have the air of mystery of, like, why are we here to suffer this? Because then you can do more commentary on should we be doing this and not, like, I, in in that case, what I would need the the underlying rules of the world to be is that these people are have gone rogue with this. Yeah, like they abducted like adult, these this, people. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's and, yeah, the yeah, thing. Yeah. Like that's why, because then it makes it like that. These kids will be ruined, and it points more that the system is busted or not. Like we're putting this in to mess up three hundred children. Yeah. Because what we said all under eighteen. See, yes, Ben agrees with me. This this is like a Danganronpa where it's like a bunch of kids kidnapped into this and this is what the Japanese government has decided because then it's you get to do all of the the death game stuff and you get to have all the boys and you get to have some of them be more self-centered than others and more team oriented because there's going to be a thing where like, "Oh, you'll disappear whether they die or not" is up to the author then. But like I think that's so much more that gets all the things that I find interesting this and puts them into a form that is so much more compelling than just, hi, I'm a man in charge of these children and I'm a huge asshole. It's literally yeah. in my name. My name is literally Ego. Did you get it? It's Ego. I'm curious if that's in the original Japanese or not. The, the main issue I have with it from that perspective is that because you are framing it as, oh, this is something that is being allowed to happen and all of these kids are basically volunteering to do this and everything is that it sort of tries to moral wash it yeah like they even call it it's like we have teams that are literally handicapped by the fact that we're not there like we it's not like oh the top star is missing is like everybody in this position on the field is now gone yeah across the entirety of japan and like the the just the framing of it of of picking out all of these great soccer players and going, these guys were all jerks who were so good because they were jerks. And like... Some of them aren't. Some of them are not. Like our Ryusoku is nice. And I'm just like rejecting yeah. this premise yep. straight away. And like, I don't know. It, it, it's not for me. I'm sure it's for some people. But like, if it wanted to get me, it needed to set this up in such a way that it made it more clear that the author was not agreeing with what this guy was My doing. My moral quandary is what kept me from liking this series at all and mostly kept me like frustrated of just like uh, like you're ta also taking these children from their families, from their friends and just again putting them into a death game style situation. Yeah. And I I just I I mean cuz I mean to an extent Dong and Rampa is kind of like a death game. I mean it is a death game. I don't know what I'm saying like it is. Just put them in that setting. Like, oh, yeah, we, we've talked about before. It's just like, sports can be put into other things. Obviously, there's the one example I have of it being put into, like, a fantasy isekai, and I didn't <laughs> like where it went for reasons it didn't need to, and I will talk about it, given thing, because it still is really annoying, because I really loved what it was doing before that. But, like, 
I think there's room to... I think... I hope Blue Lock's success means more people experiment with that. I just hope those other ones aren't as edgy. Because this is so, like... Edgy teens probably would love this because it's all about being like me, 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 and that's part ah. of that's, that's and like part I'm of the too, reason I'm too I, old and peaceful to put up with that. But I I almost don't like that this exists at all because of the 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 way that it moral washes that attitude. Ben in the chat is saying. The actual Japanese men World Cup team is wearing blue lucky uniforms. <laughs> that's that is that is um Squid Games. The thing that you can go to at the Netflix theme park, whatever, and I get to go play Squid Games. Like it's that level of like not getting it. N- nobody's thinking about this. They like it cause it's, uh, because it's a big it's property. Yep, yep. Yeah, and not thinking about what it's actually about. And but also, I don't know if what Blue Lock's about because I can't get a read on the author because it really feels like they aren't against I, it. it I think like they're like, Japan needs to stop being so nice and start being shit to everybody. That'll make us better. And it's like, no! Maybe, a point. This is not in Jump. This is like, I think because everything we're reading, yes, everything we're reading for this arc ran in Jump, except this one. Yeah. And I feel like we're going to see this is a not, a very clearly not shown in Jump sports series. You can read the it first... it's not about teamwork. It's about trying hard, but no, not like that. Yeah. You can read the first couple chapters for free on K Manga. Oh, interesting. Okay. Which is where I read it. I read the first couple of chapters. I did not finish the Tankobon that I had from the library. I was so cross with it. I think I read the first three chapters and just could not will myself. I do wonder if I would have felt as strongly against this if we hadn't already been having conversations around this kind of thing recently. Because... Like, as soon as I started getting in, into the part about, like, as soon as I read, like, he passes the ball and that guy fails and they lose, I was like, oh, no, I think I know where this is going. Yeah. And I was right, and I hated it. <laughs> I hated that I was right. Yeah, I think you hated it right and then there, hated there that, is, and it. Was. There are positive things to say about this. I think that it can be entertaining. Um like I said, I think the art was done well. I'm I'm sure it's popular for a good reason. I can't get past I think it is. has good bones and if you had another take at this that didn't have to have me having the moral conjury question as much, I think I would be more about it. I'm just hoping this popularity bears fruit to to imitators that also maybe have their own ideas that yeah. I can see this in a different form, that I can see Danganronpa sports and not this. But I feel like that's a short walk, so I hope we get there. Brad? I, I just... What you, soccer is a team sport. Also, I don't like soccer. I it's think a team sport. You have funny. to pass. And this is, like I said, I, I've been watching Ted Lasso clips for weeks now, and it's great, and it's so positive, and like... Even when things are not great and they're still like they're trying to do something good and they're they're saying like, yeah, teamwork. And when they start playing, when when fucking Jamie Tart starts playing like a a real teammate, they start doing really well. And it's it's heartwarming and great. And I'm just like, that's what you should be aiming for. Not this. No, I'm an egocentric and I hate bullshit. everybody. I'm the best. It's me. Ego. I'm so curious if he's ego in Japanese. That would have made his name more compelling. Because you know what? When he passed the ball to his teammate at the beginning there, that was the right move to do. He was fully covered. And it was his teammate's fault. Yes. But if he had shot anyway... He probably wouldn't have got it because the goalie was covering him. Yeah, he gets to, he gets to play what if now instead of just having failure. Yeah, he gets the Schrodinger's cat. Yeah. And and you know what? You go, hey teammate, we lost because of you, but we're gonna work and we're gonna get better together. Where do you think this is gonna go? I'm not gonna ask. All I the don't other... fucking care. Okay, that's valid. That's valid. <laughs> I I, 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 can, I I wiki dive just to see if I could get a sense of because I was like I don't know what this author believes I can't get a sense of it yeah because right now I, I'm not getting a vibe that this is supposed to be a pastiche or like a, a, a you know like a Squid Game thing where it's written to undermine what it's talking right. about 
And it just seems like they constantly have all these teams that they are battling other. Like, it's just like, here's this soccer game, and here's this soccer game, and here's this soccer game. And it just was just like, I mean, and obviously that's what sports manga do. They're going to have the game that they're playing, but it just, for some reason, the way the synopsis is read, it just was not clear. I, from it the just first. It seemed like it continually sucked. It kept doing what it was doing. From the first chapter, Suck I got no vibes that it was going to try and subvert what the that Concept coach was like, saying yeah. that it was going to go no this is real this is how you make a really good striker and i just f- flatly refused that premise and so where is it going to go it doesn't matter because it's going to be wrong if memory serves at least in chapter two if not three they have a game of i think it's keep away it's the first of the quote-unquote death games and it's like whoever loses goes home and it's the kid that likes the kid who won the game that they were playing who likes teamwork a lot. And they send him the one ray of sunshine. They're like, you go home. And you know what? I think, I think my mind, again, this is like a month ago. That's, a, now. that's also a fundamentally flawed premise of death games. And because like cooking shows have this prop, like all these different games where it's like, we're going to see who's best. And so you lose one thing and you're gone. It's like, no. That's not how you tell who's best. That just shows you who's lucky first. that's why when they're good is because they're a commentary on who's running the death game. It's why Squid Games is interesting. It's why Squid Games is good because it is commenting on these are just a bunch of rich fucks eating up the poor for their own entertainment. Yeah. This is not them trying to... They're not trying to create the ultimate game player in Squid Games. They're just... They are just entertainment, but right. in this case, that's not the. But case I'm talking about like Lock. Master Chef, you know. Oh yeah. So it's and and you know I'd consider that a death game too because it's like, <laughs> oh, you lose the, um, I don't know, I just can't. <sighs> I'm really it's... happy we were on the same page on this one. I I I tried. I wanted to like it, and I was just too like. I don't want to soapbox on things, but it's just like this one just like felt like it's like you don't need to do like this should not be viewed heroically. It's not heroic. <laughs> yeah. Um, how are you feeling about it? It's fine. You son of a bitch. I. You son of a bitch. There, there's objectively good no, stuff in here. No. What did I say? I didn't see your ratings. I said your feeling yes i feel fine about coward i can't ignore the that there are things in it that are good and compelling that's your thoughts that is not what i'm asking for sir i'm asking for your feelings outside of whatever objective yada 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 the conversation we just had is not fine that was not how you were feeling the series the chapter to me is fine. The morals, Howard. the morals yes. that it is espousing are heinous. Ben is calling you out saying you did say early you didn't think it should exist. <laughs> Come on, do it. That's I'm I'm saying like when I take the the thing as a whole, it's fine. When I talk about But you're not going to read any more chapters no. at a at a very active sense. Yes. Which I guess is progress, because normally you say I get to it, and you're actively, like, from moment one, you were already aggroed, which I would say, I guess I'll take as but progress I th- for But I you. think there's a difference here. There, it's it's not that it's bad, it's that I hate the morals. But your feelings is not a rating or a ranking. It's how you feel, and clearly and I, you I feel under- badly about it. I understand what you're saying, <laughs> but when I talk about my feelings, I have to talk about my overall feelings on it. Okay. And my overall feelings Coward. is fine. Coward. If you want... Okay. My feelings on the morals is this should be dead and buried and spit on its grave. Okay? Yay! Thank you! Yay! That's, we did it! That's we did not, it! That's not the the whole thing. But you... You don't want anything to do with it. You 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 read chapter one and actively were pissed at the end of it and didn't want to read chapter two. Yes. Yes. That feels like spit on grave level. You're not you're not okay, let me be clear. You're not <laughs> wrong. I just I can't live with 
the criteria being only my feelings on the morals. I'll respect your position. Let me put it this way. You know what? You know if what, you someone know what, came what, to me and yeah. said, hey, I really like Blue Lock, I would be like, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't be like, talk to fuck them. you. I hate you. Uh, is there a manga you could think of if somebody said that that you would respond to them with? What is it? Uh, high School Judgment? Whatever that one with pedophilia is that Shonen oh. Flop covered. Oh. <laughs> if somebody came up and said... That's my favorite series. Fuck no, you. No, I feel like it's like, are you on a list? <laughs> uh, I wasn't going to say spit on your grave. Um, I'm not going to say spit on your grave, surprisingly. I was I was going to pick even worse, which is below bad. If, if, I don't if remember if there was a If terrible... that's your overall feeling, because obviously for you, the morals of this are first and foremost, which I, I wouldn't say they're not for me. It's just the overall balance is lower for me whereas yours is you know you're at 90 percent morals and i'm at 60 percent morals my feeling is how much i am excited to read more of it and i'm not i read three chapters and even though i had the rest of the book with me which i could have read i could not bring myself to do it i just was so frustrated reading it and even if it was a competent manga in in form i just didn't want anything to do with it anymore so it goes into I don't remember if there was something between even worse and spin on your grave, but I feel like it goes into even worse. Because there's bad and there's even worse, and this is even worse than bad. It frustrates me. I want nothing to do with it. It is the, It is probably going to be... Ooh. I'll be very curious how this ranks then against the, 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 the end of our arc. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. That's a good point. That's a, that's that is an interesting conversation we will have in the yeah. future. But I would I guess to to update now, I, I think we all know the answer. But where is our our rankings? Well, this is at the bottom. Yes, like, I know that was by very, far by very obvious. Yes, correct. I don't think this. I wanted to put a dud in the lineup, and it was not my intention with this one. Yeah. But I think it was a happy dud accident. For, I think it was a dud for different reasons than the intention. Because well, intention... and that's that's what I'm saying. Like the, it wasn't bad. No, the presentation was good. the The art was good. Like all these different things that go into it. I just it. was morally upset with the book. Right. Yeah. No high noon. We're in the same. Oh, neither of us are buying this, right? No. no, no I had it no. for free, and I didn't finish reading. Yeah. It. Yeah. And I had time. I brought it back early. I could have renewed it. If someone were to gift this to me i might read the first volume and then get rid of it i would do i don't even know if it was popular but i always remember there was like i think i still have it it was like an image of pearl from steven universe being handed a baby and she just places it on the ground and goes no, no thank you and that's what i think of with this it, it, it would be a polite of no i don't want this in my home and 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 to be clear the reason i would read it is literally just the morbid curiosity of like does this author actually think that this is correct that's what i that's why i read the next couple until i was like i'm still it still seems like there but i'm not clear and that's when i just read yeah. i went to the cabal of people who had read it to be like hey the wiki and Googling is not telling me vi is not giving me my vibe check. It's just telling me literally what happens, which is mostly just they play this team. They play that team. They form into this team. They have this tournament. Now, I will say, if you are someone, I'm speaking to all of our listeners. Yes. Not just people Present who are chat. currently listening yes. to us. You can say chat, fourth person pronoun chat. If you are someone who read this and enjoyed it, Come into the Discord. Let's chat about it because I'm tell us really why. like. We're yeah. not, I'm going to try really. I'm not going to make fun of you. I'm not going to be mean to you. I'm. I am curious. My my worldview made me unable to read this in a pleasant fashion. Yeah. And that's just the the world we live in. I fundamentally disagree with the premise, but I am willing to have a conversation. About I can it. understand if that was a thing that did not trouble you. The thing we are troubled about is not. Racism or sexism, yeah, or or some extra level of depravity. It's literally just basic moral grounds, which I could understand having a conversation about. And with that, we've escaped the blue lock. I'd say for now, but we both know it's forever. We're not <laughs> yeah, coming back to this. Not, we're not doing that. Again. No, I was actually, 
I was sort of surprised how strong, like, I, uh, I'm just, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm glad we both had a really strong reaction to it. Yeah. I, it feels good. Cause if, cause this arc is going to be a lot of, I love this. And you're just kind of like, eh. I've definitely, so it, it felt good to have that camaraderie for a little bit. I definitely went into these going, um, Oh, you know, I'm probably not going to like this. So I didn't have like high hopes to begin with, but just the, the level of vitriol that I got by the end of this chapter, I was just like, this is, this is a lot of emotions. <laughs> I do want to say, uh, chat, Lass is making a good point. We are not into boys. I think I would, I'd be curious to know the position of a, of a boy I'm like in, her. I'm into some boys. No, but not these boys. Yeah. And not like a man like her. And we didn't get any. You have to be a, but not like a boy like her, but not like that. Yeah. We didn't get any hint of that in no. the first chapter. You don't need to. So the fandom will do all the work on that. <laughs> Last is telling us hot. I feel like I'm on Twitch now. This is gonna kill this podcast. It's not gonna kill this podcast. This is fine. This is a, these are fun episodes. It's gonna make editing it harder. Yeah, true. Her sister is big into it, but also her sister's a lesbian. You don't need to be into boys to be into boys. Yeah. I'm into girls, but I'm not into girls. You know. <laughs> do with that what you will. Whether my point was made or not, I don't know. Um. Brad, hit me with the plugs. Let's go home. <laughs> Let's go eat those macaroons. Well, as always, we want to thank Sigoy Mart for partnering with us. Sigoy Mart's a retailer of Japanese snacks, drinks, toys, and merch. They got lots of cool stuff you can't get outside of Japan. And our listeners can use code APR15 or click the link in the description to get 15% off their first purchase. And we want to hear from you. So hit us up on social media, which you can find links for on our website, animepodcasterreincarnation.com. Uh, we've got a Discord where you can chat with us. And uh, you should also check out our Patreon, where our supporters get perks like uh, getting the high-quality stereo version of the podcast early, bonus episodes, and getting to vote on which series we cover on heroin addiction. And, of course, we got to shout out our patrons. So, first and foremost, at our noble tier... <laughs> We've got our marquee, Sir Cake Dwarf. At our reincarnator tier, we've got Moon. And last but not least, at our commoner tier, we've got Kill Hour and Rena. So thank you so much to all our patrons. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, everybody, again, once again, for listening. Make sure you listen to all the different shows on our podcast feed. And, Brad, I got a new producer, and he says we have to get locked down here. Uh, and live here for 300 hours, and the last one standing will be the ultimate podcast. Are you ready for it? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> bro, you're not thinking it through, bro. A whole pack of alphas, bro. Ben is channeling Nate right now. <laughs> um, I'm gonna win. You are. You're gonna win. <laughs>